And you liked and you liked uh, uh, you liked Batman versus Superman. I mean, you call me like, like yo I son. Like I don't know what people's problems Superman. is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, son. <laughs> <laughs> Now I know, I know Oz that you uh, you want to hold off on talking about this. I'm gonna bring this up just quickly, just very sure. quickly. So sure. let me find this right here. <clears throat> so people, we have here a story that at any other time, at any other time, people would have mm-hmm. rejoiced. They would have been happy. They would have been dancing out mm-hmm. there in them streets. And oh, sometimes, yeah. you know, life works out this way. You better be careful what you ask for because, man, that's mm-hmm. one of the Twilight Zone things. You get what you want, but not the way you want it. Yeah. I would that's never. Old, What's that? No, that's some old crazy uh, demon uh, genie <laughs> thing right there. Man. Yeah, that's, that's some devil shit that happened, some yeah. Lucifer contract shit that happened with yeah, this. Exactly. Oh, oh, you want Zack Snyder off of Justice League? Well, okay. <laughs> and then, you know, people, I'm not even trying to look. I, you know, we have a humorous way of delivering things, but, and and yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Zack Snyder's later works, but I would never, I would never ever wish what happened to Zack Snyder today to get some little petty ass thing that I wanted for a movie. A movie ain't worth shit when it comes to what this man lost. There he is. Do you know his wife's name right there? (laughs) Uh, he, Mrs. Mrs. Snyder, I don't know. Miss Mrs. Snyder, yeah, he's all. They, you see a picture of him mm-hmm. with his wife, who's also mm-hmm. uh, his working partner. I think she actually helps she's to executive produce. Well. Yeah, help. She executive produces his projects. Mm-hmm. And so, what happened here? You're saying so, uh, Corey. This is what you always wanted. I n- would never want it like this. Yeah, exactly. And what happened was is that he is dropping out of Justice League because of the the suicide. Of his daughter, his daughter, whose name uh, Autumn, I believe, Autumn wow. Snyder, and here's mm-hmm. a picture of his family. I'm not sure which one is her. I don't want to point it out because mm-hmm. they didn't list it in the order. He has eight kids, wow. by the way. Yeah, he has eight kids out there. I know. I think he had a previous marriage before he was married to the woman that he's married to now. And if somebody right. can let me know the name, the name of, yeah. of his wife, because I don't want. Deborah, Deborah, okay. Deborah Snyder. That's thank, right. thank you, man. Because I don't want to, I don't want to pay any disrespect, especially at a hard time like this. I appreciate yeah. it, Jeremy. Thank you. Uh, so his his daughter committed suicide, and it's a it's a terrible thing because, you know, when you when you have children of Hollywood, you hear so many bad things about them. And right now, this is from I read about this today on the Hollywood Reporter. And thanks to the yep. people that sent me emails about it. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I got a. I got cedar right here. It's uh, it's a really bad season right now, so I'm sorry to keep coughing. But he, you know, you, you, you he had he has eight children. His daughter, I think, was one of the older ones. It might have been from another marriage. I don't want to say right now. But I read about this on the Hollywood Reporter, and you hear about the children of Hollywood, and then you hear a lot of bad things about them. You hear about them going out and doing debauchery, a lot of drinking, a lot of partying. They, they're yep. doing a lot of, you know, just a lot of crazy things that TMZ and other sensationalist uh, uh, magazines and websites can pick up on. But the thing about his daughter, it's this it's a real tragedy. His daughter really was someone that had compassion for people and was trying to make a change in the world. She had the right of thon to end homelessness for mothers and their children charity. And mm-hmm. as the like, name says it all right there, she was trying to help families or at least mothers and their children who are out on the street. And she mm-hmm. created the charity in 2014. I'm, I'm looking at this on heavy.com is where I got it from. In 2014, after her father, her father had released Man of Steel. That was in 2013, mm-hmm. of course. And she just wanted to provide shelter for people who were less fortunate than her. It almost brings tears to my eyes to hear somebody who really did want to make such a change in the world and couldn't last in the world. I mean, because no telling what they could have done later, man. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. It's one of those things where it's like, what drove her you hear all these prolific things that she's trying to do you know and it's commendable and you know it makes it yeah see yourself okay somebody has so much stuff that they're trying to put together why <coughs> would they not want to be here to see all that through i mean what was it something else going on i'm why would she commit suits that's that's baffling to me that's why i never ever 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 try to approach the topic of suicide like i know it man because i don't right, no, because we see people with everything out there here's the thing about suicide i don't want to bring up a grim subject and keep delving too deep into it but suicide is something i don't get because you really gotta want to leave this world to leave it the way that you choose sometimes you know jumping off of bridges and uh, choosing painful ways to go because that's how I know I don't want to commit suicide because I think yeah. I, I think too hard about the shit. 
<laughs> you yeah, know, and at no, the end I of the day, I'm like, I, I, I like me. I, I, and I'm, you know, me, I'm egotistical people because I start, if I ever have a, a thought of suicide, I'm thinking, I can't deprive this world of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, that's what we might do commit suicide for you don't worry about it <laughs> yeah yeah I, I can't do that to people man and that, I, that's true uh -huh. selfishness right there you know so me I just, I just don't like pain so that's why I'm not trying to take myself out the game I'm just you know what I just yeah, like I said I just like I said we can't mess around with suicide you don't know what people are going through man and to yeah, really commit yeah. commit to doing some self harming stuff to yourself to the point of death Jesus, why why did you not want to be here? Yeah, like people who that get in bad. front of yeah, people jump in front of subway cars and trains and trucks and yeah. I'm just I, yeah, I, I like I, like I said, I'm not gonna even go into it because it is gruesome, but jumping off a bridge is one of the most horrible things that you can do. And if you yeah. wanna go, you really must wanna go if you're choosing that. So yeah. I don't I don't have I don't have a I don't I don't even want to pretend like I understand suicide because it is a, a frame of mind that I will never get and I feel bad for the people that feel so much heartache that they have to do that I, and yeah the people the people that are left over the, the people that are left behind are the ones that really have to carry the burden and the struggle of it all you know and, and those people you gotta you know have your pull your hearts out to you know especially in this case particularly because all like I said all of the prolific things <laughs> that she was trying to get done it's like Damn. Okay, you can understand. I understand, but you could kind of see if she was depressed or drugs were involved or something like. I'm like, well, you know, okay, maybe she was under the influence, <clears throat> something like that. But yeah, you don't know what happened here, what the trigger was, what, no, what that you, was. And we'll you, never know. You and and don't want to even try to know. And, and I, whatever somebody says, I'll take their word for it. But the thing Pretty is, much. you made a good point saying that the people who are left here are the people who have to carry the burden, and that's exactly what is going on with Zack Snyder in that report that I read in, in uh, Hollywood Reporter. They said that uh, the studio, they, they were going to work with him. They, they floated around of pushing the, the release of the movie back, but mm -hmm. uh, both him and his wife, they decided that the, the that they would just let somebody else come in and run with the the finishing touches on it or the completion of it and mm -hmm. <clears throat> the studio was even saying that you know when he comes back that he'll have a first look deal to it and they would give him that when he comes back to work on any project that he wants to try to get uh moving or get yeah. working on and that's that that's cool that that that's that is very cool that that is cool that doing that and one of the things that and, and if you want to hear something from the man himself uh Zack Snyder was quoted. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, to lose a child, and I think the child might have been, like I said, older, might have been in her 20s, our 20s. I'm not sure. Again, I don't want to say because it's just happened. Yeah, no, no matter how old, you know. Yeah. I mean, if you look, if my mother was to lose me today, she lo she would lose her mind. She she was, oh, I'm yeah. 45, and I, she would lose her baby. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that stereotypical, you know, of people jumping into the casket, into the grave, that that, that would be, you know, my sister and my mother, you know, as, oh, as yeah. poor and dirt. They'd be jumping in the grave, too. You know, yeah, it will be ridiculous. Oh, shit. So. My mom, would, I wouldn't even make it to the grave. My mom would yank me out that casket and I'd be at the breakfast table the next day. <laughs> so you know he's okay. Look at him. He's okay. Yeah, he all right. He, he, he just tired. Sit up, baby. You know? <laughs> he, always, he always playing. He always yeah, playing. <laughs> Come on, boy. Eat your cereal. You know? <laughs> That's my baby over there. Look at him in his suit. <laughs> but uh, Zack Snyder was, uh, he, they got a couple of quotes from him, again, from The Hollywood Reporter. He said, uh, in my mind, I thought it was a cathartic thing to go back to work, to just bury myself and see if that was the way through it. And he goes on to say, but the demands of this job are pretty intense and it's an all-consuming thing. In the last two months, I've come to the realization I've decided to take a step back from the movie to be with my family, to be with my kids who really need me. They are all having a hard time. And he puts, he stresses this. He puts into in italics, I'm having a hard time. Uh, I just, I bring this up because people, for the most part, for the most part, because I was expecting, it's, this, this is an opportunity for people to come in and just be completely shitty about oh, yeah. the whole thing you know how these geeks are man they don't give a fuck oh, yeah. about human life they can, all they want is that they, they care more about fictional characters than they do about <laughs> real human emotions exactly the only they get the get their batman any means necessary yeah and that's some shitty shit but i know you're going with this i i have not seen that yet i'm glad that you mentioned that because i will say that and i'm gonna move you over a little bit because i'm yeah. i'm sometimes you see some shit that you're just proud of to, yeah. to 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 see and especially on the internet because you know the internet that's a nasty place man that done broke many a motherfucker down 
Oh man, the, 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 they should rename the internet to assholes. Because <laughs> that's what the internet is. It's assholes. Yeah. I'm getting on asshole plate on today. <laughs> but uh, uh, looking at some of the comments that are out there, I'm very proud to see that people still have human compassion, especially for things that are not attached to them, especially for people who really want what they want. You know, some people, they I don't give a fuck about Zack Snyder. Where's my Justice League? You know, they, if people like that, <laughs> yeah, and they sound just like that. But I was looking at some of the comments today and people were being cool. Awful news. Just awful. Wow, that's terrible. Uh, so sad. Uh, prayers, thoughts, and good vibes to the man. Sorry to hear this. Let's all keep him and his family in prayer. Not no, Ain't no Batman up in there. Ain't no Superman. No. You know, they, they put that shit aside for a little while. So, that, you know, they get... That's what's up. But hey. the, there is always... All, always got to be one, man. Oh, always got to always be the one. coveted the coveted asshole <laughs> always got to be one and here's the thing they brought to finish the project they brought your boy Josh Josh Whedon in and people yep. saw this as a chance to for to to come in with that 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 discount two for assholishness <laughs> <laughs> you know, that two for one that two for one assholishness to go going in there, man. They use this not only to just totally disregard what's happening with Zack Snyder, but to also come in and just talk shit about Joss Whedon. Always got to be one. Somebody came in talking about twin tragedies: the Snyder's personal one and the one inflicted upon us all of more Joss Whedon. And I'm just like. <laughs> And people are like, yeah, fuck you, man. Somebody like, oh, aren't yeah. you clever? Oh, Mary, yeah. you know, it's you know, if somebody just came in and and called them out. They're like, you know, way to come in and talk about someone's tragedy just to make a snarky comment about how you yeah. feel. You know, way to make it all That's about awesome. you. Listen, it, man, the, the internet <laughs> for that moment got a gold star for all those things that they did. You know, it was it was it was great to see. You know, <laughs> even that asshole comment. Could have been worse. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're it could right. Could have been worse. You know, he, he did acknowledge that he um that Zack Snyder had a personal tragedy. So okay, he didn't come out and you know be an asshole. But yeah. he still didn't have to do this foolishness on here though. You know what? I hate to say yeah. it. I hate to, but if that's the worst that we got from the internet, exactly. That's kind of good. Yeah, that's you what I'm saying. Gold, gold star. Forget Martin. Get a gold star. They get a gold that, star. The internet gets a gold star. And here's that's the good. thing. For people who want to talk about Zack Snyder, man, and for especially the people who were talking, like approaching me, they were saying, because I got a lot of people coming in today saying, look, I know, I know this, you don't like this guy, like the guy, like him and I ever talk. Like this is like, like, like I know this dude, you know, I know. Yeah, like you have beef with him. Yeah, I, look, I know you and Zack don't get along, man, but uh, this, this is really bad <laughs> shit. I hope you can understand. Look, people I give a fuck about, I don't give a fuck about movies when it comes to somebody's life. And furthermore, exactly. with Zack Snyder, I wasn't hating, man. Now, of course, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go in a little bit with with with, with caution with what he does. Yeah. But with Justice League, what I saw, with mm -hmm. some of the improvements and notes and criticisms that were given to him, I'm sure by the studio and by critics and by the audience, yeah. I was beginning to like what I saw, like the humor and the characters coming together in that first teaser trailer that they put out. I I saw that and I said, you know what? I'm enjoying what I see here. I'm in. You are? I need friends. I ain't your fucking friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need a job, shit, dog. He's like, yeah, what the hell do you think this is? Tinder? <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh yeah. I, man, what did you I've been I, I was actually looking forward to seeing what he would do with this. Yeah, I still do. I don't I we talked about this before. I don't understand the hate for Zack Snyder. Um granted Sucker Punch, but even Sucker Punch, I enjoyed it as a video game movie. Mm -hmm. um, and you liked and you liked uh, uh, you liked Batman versus Superman. I mean, you call me like, like yo I son. Like I don't know what people's problems Superman. is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, son. <laughs> 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 I like I I really I really enjoyed Watchmen. I don't understand what the problem is with people who hate Watchmen. He actually improved the ending of Watchmen, but you know I'm sure I get a bunch of emails tell me how much a douchebag I am for liking that movie. Yeah. But anyway, it doesn't matter to me. I enjoyed the man's work. I enjoyed the, you know, his visual style. I think it's great. Uh, the slowdown thing is awesome. He actually you know made that a thing in Hollywood. So him using it, I don't have a problem with it. And like you said, to you, you know I I was really uh, looking forward to see what he did with the Justice League because the stills and the and the uh, uh, trailer that came out, I was amped. I said, yeah. I'm amped for it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I had nothing but excitement. Again, 
cautious excitement, but I had nothing but excitement for for uh, Justice League. I was I, I'm I'm so, I mean, I'm still looking forward to it. I mean, I'm yeah. really curious yeah. now what they're gonna do with it since it was almost finished and they got somebody coming in at the last minute because I'm wondering what what Joss Whedon will be able to to do with this. I don't know what stage this was in. Do you do you know what stage this was in uh, before? I think- Adding more, okay, so he's gonna come in and do some writing duty and also filming additional scenes. Ooh, okay. uh, that man, that could make now see that's what gets me where he got it. That's what's that's what's making me nervous because those two styles clashing together, I'm not sure because he because Zack Snyder does dark characters, I think, well, yeah, you know? and yeah, Josh Whedon lightens up characters very well, so maybe he'll punch up some of the darker stuff to make it not dark but make it. Medium. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe. Maybe, oh shit! Maybe uh, we're meeting in the right place right here because mm-hmm. I mean they were already trying to pump up some of the humor, and we saw that just now in the trailer. And Joss Whedon right. is known for bringing a lot of good humor and some lightness to these characters, with making them fun. Exactly. And, and exactly. Yeah. So you know, I mean, maybe that's why he was chosen because because uh, I'm trying to find you, man. Because the thing is, is oh, that man. this is. Uh, this is something where he was best suited for what the direction that they were trying to go. Now, mm. I'm sure Marvel's looking at him and just kind of like, wow, man, you fucking traitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, they're making sure he doesn't have any uh, blueprints from the Avengers <laughs> under his arms or nothing like that. They're oh, gonna, I know, I know. they tooth cope his ass, make sure he don't got nothing. They're like, man, you, know, you make mother. Sure you, nothing looks similar. You LeBron does, man. You gonna do this shit? <laughs> <laughs> he took his talents to DC. He took, yeah, everything that he did for the Avengers. Now he's taking all them secrets to the other team. <laughs> exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, you, yeah well, and, I, and it's funny because... I just hope Pete... Okay. What's that? No, go ahead. I was just going to say that Joss Whedon now... You remember when Joss Whedon was everybody's hero? When he oh, bust, yeah. When he bust on the scene, he was the... No. You know, he was the guy that... Uh, he was the guy that brought us the Avengers. And everybody sure. says that everything that was good about the Avengers, all that fighting and those snarky comments that they were doing to each other before they even became a team, which is what kind of made the movie at first. Hey, that's Joss Whedon, man. He brought yeah. magic. He brought the Marvel Universe together cinematically. No, Single-handedly. I don't play well with others. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that away. What are you? A uh, genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. <laughs> yeah, so fuck you. <laughs> even Thor had to laugh at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gotcha. one that shit, but you turn around and look at Thor, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nobody even talking to you. But, uh, man, the guy, as you said, single-handedly, he, he, uh, everybody thought he, uh, what he did was, was something that could not be done. He, he worked magic. Yeah, when, when you thought of uh, Joss Whedon, you thought of Marvel. Mm-hmm. That's what he. That's what he. That's what he created for himself by doing this. Yeah, yeah. A geek, a geek hero, almost geek folk hero in a way. Yeah, uh, a geek god, a geek god. <laughs> <if you will. laughs> that geek hammer on your ass. But it's funny now because people are looking at Josh, Josh Whedon like he's an asshole. Like he, he's become a villain. He day he lived long enough. He lived long so enough long. <laughs> <laughs> to reach that villainy, man. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly it. I, you know something, and here's the thing, I, because I, I, I know what's happening. Here's the thing, because I'm really excited now to see. I'm, I'm, I have concern of two people coming in and doing a, the same project, especially in a, with a disruption like this. But I'm thinking, man, you know, I, I, there was a time when everybody loved Josh Whedon, and I'm really excited yeah. to see what he can bring to a different team. That's yeah. it, it, fucking DC needs him right now. Actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I just hope he can kind of. Uh, uh, switch his brain to you know to that part of it and not mm-hmm. mimic the Avengers. You know what I yeah. mean? Make this its own thing because right now it has its own direction. It has it has its own uh, uh, I guess theme to it, mm-hmm. and hopefully he can kind of make some broad strokes as opposed to nitpick each an individual scene to try to make it his. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I not want to thing- make his footprint felt so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because nah, that's one thing I say about DC. I ain't com- I'm, I'm not mad about them being dark. I'm just mad about them just cutting the lights completely fucking off. You know, I'm mad about them being too dark. You know, yeah, yeah, well, you can't see shit. Yeah, yeah you can't see shit. You laying in a room. Hello? <laughs> it is, it is movie. Where, where, where everybody at? <laughs> yeah. Shit. Throw it, please tell me that's your arm. <laughs> you know? but, 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 but I don't mind it. So they do need that darkness to distinguish themselves from Marvel. They do need 
a little bit of more edginess to distinguish themselves from Marvel. Batman is a dark character. He's not Tony Stark. And exactly, exactly, which is why I'm hoping that, you know, like I said, broad strokes, not individually nitpicking, you know, don't, you know, come and uh, switch up your style and show that you can do both, you know, don't don't rip out what Zach already put in there, man. Make it nicer. Yeah, no, you, you, know? you were exactly right. Because uh, right now, if they treat it right, Joss Whedon, you know, he's uh, he might as well be geek Jesus for them. <laughs> you know, he could <laughs> come in and save everything. The reason why That's people true. don't like jo- did not, I got my opinions. Do you know? I'm gonna ask you this. You have any ideas or any theories why people are turning against Joss Whedon besides he's just been around for a long time? I don't know. I mean, when he was doing the uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, there were talks of him saying, uh, you know, I'm burnt out. I don't want to do this anymore. You know, mm-hmm. it's too hard. People love, you know, He's coming off like a crying, whiny bitch. (laughs) And people people were angry about that. You know what I mean? And then, you know, he flipped the script and went over to DC. So the the Marvel fanboy was like, oh, they broke out their uh, porch. The the, the, the pitchforks and the the damn (laughs) torches to come get his ass. So, I mean, I think it's just a lot of uh, nerd rage that's going on, I think. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to him. And I also think that to, to, to people's a little bit in their defense for the people who are going against Joss Whedon. I don't. I, I wouldn't take it as far as the hate. But Joss Whedon is one of those guys who became like a hero and then just started running his jibs and people like, man, look, man, you ain't got to comment on every fucking thing and politicize everything, especially when it comes mm. to feminism. I believe, you know, that man, this is backlash against anything labeled fe- feminism. And he's mm. been known to come out and talk strongly for women's rights, and which is cool. But he'll right. he'll start picking on movies and saying, y'all got to be so sexist about that. Do you remember when Jurassic World came out? And yeah, I did hear something about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he made a tweet talking about, and look, it, it, it the scene he was talking about. He made some points, but he was he was really on this soapbox about how Jurassic World oh, had yeah. this sexist scene in there, and people just kind of like, look, the movie ain't even out yet, and we, man, you cool, but and we like you, but shut the fuck up. And even he was like, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at AV Club, and even AV Club, uh, they had an article where they said uh, Joss Whedon regrets his tweet calling Ju- Jurassic World sexist. <laughs> and and even and even when he came out, he's like, yeah, it, it ain't really an apology. I'm just sorry the way I said it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. He's his own, it seemed like he's drinking his own Kool-Aid. Ever since he did Buffy and people praised Buffy and how the way he handled uh, a, a strong female character, he became the strong female character guy to go yeah. to. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Him, him though, they put him as a figurehead to, you know, to, to, to talk about these things. They know success of those other movies, making Black Widow, you know, actually a cool character mm-hmm. and stuff like that. That put him in the forefront. So I beholded him to run around and talk talking about women. You know, like he, <laughs> like he, he was the crown king of talking for women. Don't worry, bitches, I have this. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way throw bitches in there too. I, I, I can say that. <laughs> yeah, I, I got this. Yeah, no, the rest this. of you people can't. And you know, he's also going off in this thing now where he's he went and made a a short film uh, about Planned Parenthood. I think it's called. Oh, what's it called? It's it's Buffy. It's, Buffy. Gets Bu- Buffy gets a, Buffy gets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking around with Angel. I gotta get this shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's called uh, closed or something. But he made this. A lot of people are like saying, "Man, you riding this political thing really hard." You know, yeah, and we it. get it. You sometimes you can speak for a certain group too hard, and people yeah. just like, "I like that," but you know, yeah, you, you, you're coming across down. too strong now. Yeah, calm your ass down. Yeah, yeah. I'm out for the. <laughs> Man, look, you, that that's a great agenda to have, but I oh yeah, but you know, you understand what I'm saying, right? Oh yeah, no, no, you know, do do it in parts. You know, partner up with somebody who who could speak a little louder th- than you for you. You know, what <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can say some shit, but have somebody else there to say some shit for you, preferably a woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're gonna speak about women, shit. Have a I know. Woman next to you or something. Yeah. And even some people are saying, man, argue for women, but you ain't got to go making Planned Parenthood movies and shit. You know, the Avengers of Planned Parenthood. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, his next movie is going to be him just cutting his dick off. <laughs> this is for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Raising it like Thor's hammer and shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, y'all finished. <laughs> no, we not. No, no, we not. <laughs> looking, like, looking like Opie from, from the Andy Griffith show. 
<laughs> Look like Ron Howard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's hilarious. I'm the best. Uh, no, I'm, I'm a look. I'm, I'm, I, I, I appreciate the work of both Joss Whedon and 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 Zack Snyder. And I, if hey. the, what's that? I'm gonna say yeah. And we, and yeah. As we digress, as what, what is this? What's the saying go? Uh, hopefully optimistic. Is that it? Yeah. Or cautious, cautiously optimistic. Cautiously optimistic, but That's overall. It. There is a human life that is gone, a human yes. life that was out there trying to make, to make a difference for other people in other lives. And his daughter, again, if you just tune in or just watching his daughter, Zack Snyder's daughter and Deborah Snyder, they lost their daughter to suicide. And, uh, you know, we've been laughing and making some jokes, but we I, really my and I know people always say this all the time. My thoughts are not only with him, but anybody who has to endure such pain, man, a movie any geek shit, any kind of entertainment, all that superficial stuff is nothing compared to losing a child. And, you know, my heart, my heart is with them, man. I, Correct. I really feel Correct. that. Our, our, condo- <laughs> our true condolences are to the Snyder family and uh, it's truly sincere from us all joking aside. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no Ho- hopefully uh, his daughter found a piece she was looking for, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, again, terrible thing, man. Suicide. Yeah. Terrible, terrible thing. <clears throat> to be in that much pain. So, how do we follow this up? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> How do we follow that? How do you follow that? Well, good night, y'all. <laughs>